Hello friends and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Encouragement for today. A ray of hope coming to you from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. And friend, listen, there's just not a better place to find a ray of hope than in the light of God's holy and precious word. Today, if you will, take your Bibles and turn with me to John's Gospel, chapter number 12, and we'll look at verse number 35 as a text verse of Scripture. Now, notice what the Bible says here. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringeth forth good things, and an evil man out of the evil treasure bringeth forth evil things. And friends, I certainly pray that God would add his great blessings to the reading of his holy and precious word on this beautiful day. Get that good fresh cup of hot coffee. Let's sit together and have a wonderful encounter with God and his precious word. Well, amen. Friend, there's just not a better way to start a brand new day. Good, fresh, hot coffee and a fresh word from God. Well, friends, today I want to bring to you a devotional thought that is titled Cause and Effect. You know, beloved, there is a predictable principle at work in our lives. You get what you put into it. You can't plant carrots and expect to harvest a watermelon. You can't fill your piggy bank with pennies and expect a hundred dollar bill to emerge. You may wish for results to magically appear, but the cause and effect principle remains. Of course, there are exceptions. When a child puts his newly pulled tooth under his pillow, a corn appears in its place, as long as his parents don't forget. But the most important exception is Christ's gift to us. My friend, we surrender our sin and failure to God, and God replaces it with the flawless righteousness of the Lord Jesus Christ. God's commitment to us includes an eternal home and purpose for today. My friend, he delights in transforming us to bring forth good treasure we become his lights, impacting and encouraging the people around us. So listen, submit yourself and your efforts to him, and you'll gain more than you could ever give. Think about that, and let's pray together. Lord, we thank you for the gift of our salvation and for the eternal home you are now preparing for us. And we'll soon enter into that fair city. But until we do, help us, O oh Lord, to point others to the Lord Jesus, that they too may know the wonderful life that can be theirs that would be given by the hands of Jesus. We thank you for that. 
in his mighty name. Amen and amen. Well, friend, I pray the devotion blessed you today, and if it did, you blessed someone else by sharing it with them. And I pray that you have a wonderful Independence Day today. God bless you for tuning in. Have a wonderful and a blessed day.